I, yeah, those paper wasps uh, have a nasty sting and they can sting a whole bunch of times. What was that? What was that? So get ready for a cool and fun adventure. We are going to explore the inside of this old building right here. And when we're done, we're going to explore the inside of the ghost house. Whoa! <laughs> um, I'm out here with Todd of Appalachian History Detectives, who is actually at another property talking to a guy right now. And what we're going to do, what I'm going to do while he's doing that, is we're going to explore the inside of that house. And we're going to take a look at this. That's a spring house. I think the spring house dates to the 1700s, mid 1700s and probably parts of this house as well. Never been in it. Looks like someone else has. Let's go check it out. Before we go over there, look at all the daffodils coming up back. It's really pretty. I have my metal detector. We're gonna do some metal detecting too. Although that may be tomorrow night. I don't want the video to be really, really long. Let's look at this spring house. From what I understand, uh, well, let's look at it. Wow, look at that. Yeah, okay, so this part of this part of the spring house is probably the 1700s part. It looks like they put a new roof over it to uh, preserve it. Look at that! This is where they would put the milk cans and stuff to keep it cold. Milk and food and stuff. But look at the uh, springs coming up right there. Isn't that neat? It's bubbling. You can see the sand is being pushed up by the water, which is coming up out of the ground. Man, I tell you, these walls could talk, huh? Ooh, some racco raccoon trap there. Man, this is nasty. I wonder why it's so nasty in here. Um, I guess, well, the water, it could be a trough over there, too. It looks like it comes under the wall. You see where it's flowing through and then going out right there. What a neat old place. Could be, oh, look at those nests. That's a pretty bird nest, isn't it? on my head. Whatever we do, we don't want to uh, like brush against that top of that board right there. See anything up there? I'm just going to kind of hold you up in there and see if there's anything up there. I'm not going to try to climb up in it. Let me know if you see anything. Since it's been repaired, the roof, wow, a big hole in the roof. It must have been a tree fall. Yeah, trees fell on it. That's a shame. I'm not gonna walk in there. Let's go and take a look at the house. What do you say? Be really careful on these uh, boards right here. Oh, I'll try to walk on this. these uh, ones going across. Oh, that's a shame. It's been totally vandalized. I guess we're going this way. Boy, what a shame, huh? That's another bird nest. Life finds a way. Beautiful. Well, it's not beautiful, but it's the prettiest up there. This place is covered with birds. Awesome. Yeah, it's up on that fan. I'll show it to you in a minute. Oh, uh, bathroom that was added on. See the bottles down there. Man, oh, they were after the copper pipe. That's what they were doing. Look, there's another bird nest. Another month, there'd be all kinds of baby birds in here. Yeah, that one up there, look at that. Nice old stone fireplace. This is the uh, thing that they would turn in and out, hung a pot from there to cook. I don't see those very often, um, left in houses. They disappear pretty quick. We'll go upstairs in a minute. Lead chips. <laughs> Almost guaranteed that's lead it paint. It's blocked for the cow. Ah! Blocked for the cows, I guess. That's a shame. They just tore this place up. Ooh! 
least there's no heads in there. Another another side of the nice fireplace. They had that blocked off because they had stoves in here. What a color, huh? What a color. Ooh, well, he's got some lunch. Wonder what that is. Why is there mud like on the wall? That's kind of weird. Like somebody had their feet up. That's all. Oh, that's probably where they put the bodies. The people when they uh, captured them. Look like, like little shoe prints, like the treads from boots on the walls. Little handprint there. Yeah, that's where they kill the captives. <laughs> Everything for the almighty copper pipe. That's a shame this place is so torn up. Yeah, this looks a lot newer. <laughs> they got the electrical wire. Place. Man, what a shame. Uh, for those of you who don't know what's going on with that, is that um, thieves will break into homes, even like homes that are being built or abandoned homes like this, and they'll steal all the copper they can out of a house. And you get copper with the uh, plumbing pipes and the copper wire that's running in the house. And thieves take that, you know, they sell it for scrap. And, um, well, then they can buy drugs and whatever they want to buy. I think probably most of it's drug related. I would think. Yeah, that's what they did. Boy, the floor is like going uphill. <laughs> It's sunk. That's a cool wood, isn't it? Look at that. So this fireplace, this was built just for a, no, there's a fireplace in there, I think. That's a stove. All the walls are up down. What a shame. Okay, um, here's the deal, okay? We're gonna go upstairs. Um, it always freaks me out a little bit because you never know what you're gonna find. It could be a homeless person up there, passed out. Or hiding in a closet. Could be someone who OD'd, because obviously, you know, people come in here and do things that they shouldn't be doing. So take a deep breath, but don't hold it too long. Wow, that's nice. That looks pretty old too, doesn't it? Look at the um, square peg holding it in. Yeah, it's pop prints. in here not too far from here um guy chopped up his girlfriend and put him put her in suitcases and threw her in the river it was only probably 10 15 miles from where we're standing right now it's actually a lawyer not a very smart one apparently freaked out when we finally make it to the dark recesses of these abandoned houses thinking that you know we could find someone or something hiding in a corner just waiting at least I hope so 
Let's check this out. It smells like bats. Oh man, that floor looks dangerous. Really wide boards though back here. Tells me it's old. An old floor. Let's go around here. Oh, good, nothing hanging back here. Definitely bat. Ooh, is the wasps? Gotta be careful. Come here, buddy. <laughs> See if he likes the light. Yeah, he likes the light. Ah, there's a bunch of them. Let's get out of here. Uh, yeah, those paper wasps uh, have a nasty sting, and they can sting a whole bunch of times. What was that? What was that? It sounded like something knocking. I hear you knocking. Yeah, they'll sting you a bunch of times. A bunch of them will get on you. Oh, is that sort of body, is it? God. That looks like. Oh, good. No. Ow! Watch your head. I'm such an idiot. Ah, there's no more wasps over here. I guess he likes the light, huh? I'm not going to spend much more time up here. I don't want to get stung. Could get die of shock. Anaphylactic shock, and we don't want to do that. I don't see anything too interesting anyway to you. Watch your step here, though. Uh, whole TVs, so uh, no one's lived in here for a while. At least they put them up here a long time ago. All right, whoa, it's hot. Let's go downstairs. What they had hanging there? That looks like a little child's restraints. Okay, it's really hot up here, and I don't want to get stung, so let's go ahead and go back downstairs, see if there's a basement. Wow, oh, this baby's arm. Oh, I think it's a part of the room we didn't, part of the house we didn't go in yet, too. There's something over here. What's this? Oh, that's where we came up. Wasn't there another door somewhere? I'm so confused. Guess not. I saw this door, and I think it Probably goes out to a porch. That looks over from here. Bunch of bees. Ah, it's another room. Okay, here we go. Wow, yeah, this is the old old part of the house. Steps going up. Look at all the destruction. Those are those paper wasps like we saw up in the attic. The mud daubers. They actually eat spiders. So if you ever see those, don't bother them. And the uh, the insects themselves, they look like a wasp. They're bright blue and the winds flicker, but they won't sting you unless you try to catch them. They're pretty docile actually, but they eat spiders by the hundreds. It's, they could be 300, 3,000 spiders. Just in that little accumulation of uh, nests right there. You definitely don't want to come up here in summertime. Those things would be all over us. Little fireplace up here. He's in here, is there? What a shame. This would be a, uh, would be a nightmare in summer with those bees, I'm telling you. With those wasps, they would be all over you. Let's go down this way. Raccoons have been in here. Raccoon poo. All right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna look around the outside real quick and if there's a basement, we'll check it out. Um, yeah, let's just go ahead and do that. I'm thinking there's gonna be a basement here though. The outhouse up on the hill. See the outhouse? Look at all the daffodils coming up, isn't that pretty? Someone had pride, blue jays. Uh, someone had pride in their home at one time. This one right here. Shame to see it falling down like this. <laughs> look at that slog. Is that a good sign or a bad sign? You be the judge. What a shame. Woodpeckers, look at that. Probably squirrels, actually. I don't see any sign of a 
uh, entrance going into any type of basement. It's probably crawl space. We might go down there and look for treasure there. Lots of daffodils. Um, yeah, all right. Well, that's going to have to end it, I suppose. Hope you enjoyed that little adventure, that little exploration. I'm actually going to metal detect it now. I've got my metal detector right there. And what I'm going to do, though, is split the videos. And hopefully the metal detecting one will be tomorrow night. Don't forget. Okay, please, don't forget. If you're watching this and you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I mean, I only have probably less than half of my viewers are actually subscribed to me, which kind of blows me away. So go ahead and hit that subscribe, subscribe button, subscribe button, and uh, like button. And check out Todd's channel too. I'll put his link in the video description. He should be up here soon. We're going to do some detecting. I'm going to get started without him though. He said it's okay. He's just down the road about a mile. We'll see you on the next one, I hope.